Hey, Dan here, and welcome back to a brand new video, and welcome back to Diamond Island on Tomodachi Live. So let's get straight into this, shall we? It is actually nighttime as I'm recording this, 10.14 p.m. Yeah, not sure why I'm recording this late, but... It does look pretty cool on Diamond Island with the night sky. Definitely. Now, today, I'm not going to add any new me's because I added five new ones in the last episode and five new ones in the episode before that. So, I'm going to leave it for now and see if all our new me's have settled in and also if they're going to give us donations. <laughs> Here we go. Spider-Man's up first. Then we've got Elsa. Then the Ghast. Then the Zelda. So, all the new people are starting to add donations. But how much in total did we get? 140, 147. I swear we've had more than that before. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not complaining. We're still almost at 1,000. We haven't got 1,000 yet, though, because I keep forgetting to grab my donations every day. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it looks like there's a couple events right now. But first off, we should go ahead and see what Me News is on today. And it looks like Finn is going to tell us what is going on. We'll change from our usual news. We have a space weather special for you. Okay. Let's go to our coffee weather expert. Over to you, Smiley. Smiley. Hi. So, <laughs> let's see what the space weather is up to out there tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, the moon will have clear skies, and so will beautiful Saturn. Jupiter Sounds good. will be clear, but Mars will start out with rain, turning to cloud. The sun is expected to reach a high of 6,000 degrees. So, wear sunblock. <laughs> we asked some islanders their opinions. You've got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, Brock. <laughs> Does anybody find this interesting? I found it pretty Thanks interesting. Smiley, I don't feel bad. Was... No problem, Finn. Thank you so much. So yeah, Smiley, don't feel bad. They just they just don't show an interest in space. That's all. So before we go and check out the event that's on at the amusement park. Oh, it's Tomodachi Quest. Oh, okay. Oh, I was gonna do that, but I don't need to. Oh! Someone's in love! Gemma and Skeleton, that's so cute. They're just here together, chilling out. Boyfriend and girlfriend. That's really, really... Yep. Yeah. What? What? What's going on? Why were you so scared of me? Hello? I'm gonna check in on these guys because they seem a little suspicious now. What's going on here, huh? What's going on? We finally meet again. Dante DMs look alike. Yeah, don't you be trying to distract me. What's going on? I think Traoris needs a special someone. How about setting them up with Misty? Oh, um, oh, Traoris and Misty, hmm, he got let down by Gemma, but who was the person, it wasn't Traoris above him, was it? I don't think it was, and I don't think it's Misty above, um, Gemma's flat either, because we added her to the right hand side. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say someone else, question mark. Okay, who do you think I should try to set them up with? Here we go. We're setting Treyarch up with... Oh, we can actually pick someone. No way. Can we not pick anyone? Why can't... <laughs> That's not fair. That's a... Oh. Taylor Swift. Oh. Taylor Swift or Misty. Which one? I think... I'm gonna go for Taylor Swift. I thought she was only gonna let us choose uh, the one that she wanted to choose. I'm gonna go for Taylor Swift. Let's see what happens here. Shall we? Okay. So I'll get Treyarch to meet Taylor. Nice. Oh, it's happening now. <laughs> okay, where are they? A train station? I think they are. I kind of want to get Taylor a new hat because that hat just ain't working. Oh! <laughs> Special investigator. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's in a bear costume. That is amazing. Gemma, what are you up to? Looks like they're having a good time though. <laughs> Gemma's like a secret agent. Look at her peeping on their little dinner date. I wonder what they're eating. What are they eating? They're eating I couldn't even guess. I don't know. It looks like some kind of pie, maybe. Oh, I think this is the result. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you too. No. No. No! They didn't get on well together. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. You're a terrible secret agent. Oh my goodness. I'm always the only one with my eyes closed in photos. Yeah, well, that's probably because you're not a very good secret agent, maybe. Oh, I feel sad for Treoris now. Right, um, who is this? It's Homer. Homer's always falling in love with people. What's going on, Homer? So Homer was actually the reason that... But do you think I could be alone for a while? 
Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? I was gonna say, Homer was the reason that Gemma and Skeleton got together because he was the one that tried to, um, try and get with Gemma, but then Skeleton burst in, Treoris burst in, and everything got real messy. So what's going on, buddy? Got feelings for Gemma and Misty. Oh, man. Who do you think I should tell my feelings to? Well, you can't tell your feelings to Gemma because that's just not gonna work out. She's with Skeleton. How did it work out last time? Huh? How, how well did that work out last time? Let's go for Misty. How should I tell them? Oh, this is this is getting real tense up in here. People are falling in love with each other all over the place. Um, You are going to be cute. You're going to be cute. Where should I tell them? Where? Um, you should tell them um, um, at the park. Yeah. Should I get changed first? It depends what into. I'm going to say get changed. Actually, no, I'm going to say don't change. Don't okay. change. Be yourself. I'll get myself ready and then go do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. He's going for it. Oh, his heartbeat is going. <laughs> That's so cute. Here she is. Hey, Misty. How's it going? Three, two, one. What are you doing? L-O-E-E-M-B, -E Misty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait a second. It's Treoris. What? A oh, he's always around. He's always around. Look at him running up to ruin the day. Nobody loves you more than me. That's not true, Treoris. You just tried it on with Taylor. No way. I love you the most. Okay, this is getting weird. This is getting really, really weird. Hold on a minute. Oh! Who's this? It's me. <laughs> oh, she's going to have to choose someone. She's going to have to choose who's, who's, who she's going to be with. I love you more. Oh, man. This is, this is a dilemma. No, no. Oh, he's angry. No, no. He's really angry. Who do you choose, Misty? Oh, no. This is tense, guys. What's gonna happen? Homer S, I'm so glad you feel the same way. You did it, Homer! Homer, you did it! Be happy, buddy! Oh, good job. I'm actually really happy about that. That's really awesome. <laughs> good job, Homer. <laughs> Epic win for Homer. Oh my goodness, he's got like fireworks in his room. It went like a dream. Oh man, he's so happy. He's so, so happy. <laughs> so cute. He also gave us enough money to be over a thousand, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to give him a gift. And I'm going to give him the gift of... Of a mirror. Because apparently the mirror is quite cool. Because they can change outfits randomly. So I'm going to give a mirror to Homer. So he can he can perk himself up for dates and stuff as well. That's why I've given him that. Okay. Have this as a reward. Are you dancing? <laughs> oh. A swing. Oh, I thought that was those weird metal things that we got last time for invading someone's dream. But that's a swing. That's really cool. Okay, what's going on, buddy? I love Misty's voice. It's so cute. You're cute, Homer. That's really cute. Ah, oh, couples getting together. Look at them. Oh, they're kind of cute. They're really cute. So we now have two couples available, which is really, really cool. And I've just realized something that might be why everyone was falling in love with Gemma. I think there's an issue here. So if we go over to our compatibility tracker and go on our test, we can only do a certain amount of people. So Gemma... And where's Misty? Where's Misty? Where's Misty? Oh, we can't do Misty. Does not have a full date of birth. I think that's why. I think I need to set proper dates of birth for all our female characters. Because look, she doesn't have one. Uh, we don't have many female characters. Uh, we don't have many at all, actually. Oh, no. This is a bad thing. Right, next time we're adding five, five girls to our island. That's what we're doing. Okay, so what I have done is I've gone into this me creator here and I've edited all the ages. So what I had is I had birthdays, but I didn't have birth years on all of them. So hopefully they can now be compatibilized. Is that even a word? They can be tested for compatibility depending on their birth year, which I think is how it works. Now, some funny ones include... Lord Voldemort. He is the maximum age you can be. He's the oldest me on the island. He's 116 years old. How awesome is that? <laughs> I've also made Steve Skeleton quite old as well. He's 76 because... He's a skeleton. He's obviously died already, but he's not quite as old as Voldemort. So everyone should be ready to go now. Now, let me see if the compatibility checker now works. Yeah, look. Now everyone can be tested. Right. 
Who should we test? This is gonna be the episode of love. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna do Smiley Smile and Phil Egg Tree because you know in um in in Riddle School they they kind of get together. 67. Not too bad. Smiley isn't all that into it anyway. 67 though. That's pretty good. Now you know who might be quite a funny match. Voldemort and Elsa. Yeah, they'll, they'll be a really funny match. Let's see if we can find anyone really high. 99%! It's fate. It's absolutely fate. Oh my goodness. I've been wondering why on earth things haven't been working out so well. Why everyone has been falling in love with Gemma. And I figured it out. Finally, I figured it out. It's because... I'm an idiot. It's because I'm an idiot. I I'm not afraid to admit it, okay? Let's see the compatibility forecast for, um, who have we got? Uh, who was I looking for? Lord Voldemort and Elsa. There we go. Sunny all over. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I'm loving this. Right, let's go back to our apartment block, shall we? Because we have some more things to check out. Who's at the fountain? Who's at the fountain? It's me. <laughs> yes, it is. It's me right there. Have we got an event on today? No, nah, we've missed all the events. It's way too late, but it looks like I'm having a great time right near the fountain. <laughs> That's epic. Take a picture. Boom. That's perfect. So I guess while we're here, we should check out what on earth we have got in the shops. And it looks like this is one of the best supermarket menus we've seen so far. Cheeseburgers, chicken drumsticks, English breakfast, gnocchi, not sure what that is, and an omelette. All of those things are fabulous. I'm going to buy five. And just look, we've got a thousand right now. That's amazing. 30 pounds per burger, though. 30 pounds an English breakfast. So I'm going to buy two because they're quite expensive. Um, Omelettes shouldn't be too expensive, right? I'm going to buy five of them. There we go. Gnocchi, I'm going to buy one of those. And drumsticks. Let's buy a couple of those, too. Or three. Three is good. Right, one of my favorite, favorite shops is the hat shop. So we've got a bandana. We've got a bowler hat and a headset. You know what? I like this bandana. I am going to buy me one of those. So unfortunately, we can only get it in red right now, but I'm sure we'll be able to change up the colors later on. Um, right, let's go and see if there's any new outfits because you know me. I like hats and I like, well, I like silly hats and I like the silly outfits as well. So let's see what we've got because we have a decent amount of money to spend. We've got a bear, <laughs> bear t-shirt, a Breton t-shirt, a cactus t-shirt, a flared skirt and a tiger baseball jacket. I like this cactus. Cactus. I like it. I'm not too sure about the skirt, though, but the bear t-shirt, that is on point. Have we got any new costumes? We haven't. We actually haven't. Oh, that's kind of upsetting. That's not great, but could be worse. And finally, interiors. We have Tropical Beach. That is fantastic. But if we buy that, we'll only have £11 left, and we won't be able to feed and dress our mees. We've got Antique. We've got Training and Wild West. Training. Has Craig got a training one yet? Or has he got a gym? I can't even remember. Let's go and check. Oh, look, Gemma's having a party. Look, actually, is this a party or is it just a staring contest? I have no idea, but it looks like they're having fun. So let's check on Craig. No, he's got this normal one. Okay, right. I am going to go ahead and buy Craig the gym because that fits him so perfectly. He's like now a fitness buff for no reason. And it's only 300, which isn't too bad. So let's go ahead. The Wild West one is pretty cool as well, but I don't know who I'd give that to just yet. So let's go ahead and give this to Craig. Where are you? Come here. Craig. Craig, I've got a present for you. I actually really like Craig in the bunny hat. I think it suits him perfectly. King and I work together. There's nothing that can stop us. That's true, but you're in the friend zone, buddy. You are in the friend zone. Best friend forever. That's really cute. I like that. Right. Um, let's give you a brand new place to live, shall we? Enjoy it. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. So you've got weights, you've got weights, you've got weights, you've got towels just to wipe off that sweat if you work too hard. A boxing thing, what's it called? A punch bag. And you've also got a treadmill, a bar in case you want to do some ballet or gymnastics. This is looking good, Craig. I hope you enjoy it. It matches you perfectly. I'll take good care of it. Good, good. I'm glad you will. Oh, Craig leveled up as well. Nice. Speaking of ballet, speaking of ballet, you now have the bar. So I'm going to give you a ballet manual now. If I don't see you doing some ballet on that bar in the next few episodes, I'm going to be very upset. Oh my goodness, look. Look. <laughs> I threatened him and it worked. He's doing some ballet right now. He's not using the bar, but look at his posture. That is, that is beautiful, Craig. So, so beautiful. How can you stand on your toes for so long? 
That's incredible. He's he he's still standing there. How is he doing this? <laughs> oh, Taylor's dreaming. I love the dreams. That's one of my favorite parts of this. So let's see what she is dreaming about. I haven't seen you in 50 years. Dante DMs look alike. She got old. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Well, they're closed. That was really weird. That was really weird. I got a walking stick. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. She dreamt she was 50 years in the future, I think. Why would Jenna want me to go out with Traoris? Oh, no. <laughs> I've been rumbled. You're a match. Really? You might be right. You got me curious. Hey, Traoris. I, I, got, I got that set up for you perfectly, buddy. I saw someone on TV who looked just like Brock. Were you watching the Pokemon anime? I think you might have been. Right, let's try out some of these brand new food, shall we? Let's go for an English breakfast, shall we? Let's see if you enjoy it. Go on. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Liked it a little. I don't know anyone who doesn't like a full English breakfast and she levels up as well. I think we should give her a song. We're going to give her a pop song and we're going to listen to it. We're going to listen to it straight out the bag. We're not going to edit any of the lyrics. We're going to go and... Oh, wait. She's going to give us a reward first. <laughs> Stomach medicine, just in case. We haven't had to use any of that or the cold medicine yet, which is pretty weird. So let's see what song she ends up singing. She's going for pop, and it's called Sunny Summer. Here we go. Four backing dancers. Who are they going to be? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is epic. This is already epic. <laughs> yes. This is perfect. I love holidays. Do you? <laughs> nice. Go, Taylor. <laughs> that was great good job taylor it's like you do it for a living or something in the backing dancers the backing dancers were phenomenal. Good job, guys. Man, we have some problems to sort out. Right, let's go and see what Anna is saying. I don't think we visited her properly yet. So let's see what's going on. I'm Anna. I'm actually more serious than my smiles let on. Oh, that sounds pretty evil, actually. Let's see what our problem is. I don't really know anything about Smiley. Okay. What do you think about me and Smiley? You and Smiley? Um, perfect. Oh, now I'm really interested. Okay, is that it? <laughs> That's pretty, um... That's pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I wonder about my lookalike. Well, well, funny thing is there's one in a film that looks very much like you. Right, what would she like to eat? I'm going to give her some barbecued meat. Let's see if you like that. Do you eat that in your frozen land of Arendelle, do you? She liked it. She liked it a lot. Is it going to go on her likes? It certainly is number one Spox, I think. That might actually be the first time we've fed her, which is um, really bad. <laughs> right, now on to the problems. Treoris is going absolutely crazy. I do like his outfit. It's very formal, but it doesn't actually match his room. So maybe he wants a change of clothes. Which do you prefer? How you are now or how you used to be? Why are you asking me these tough questions? I dislike both. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm going to put now. I'm going to put now. You used to be pretty special, didn't you? What's wrong with me now, Traoris? What's wrong with me now, huh? Oh, my goodness. That was so rude. I can't understand people who don't apologize for being late. That's true. That's true. I am late pretty much all the time. But I do apologize for it. I do. Even though I kind of can't help it. Right. What can we give you? Let's give you something we've only got one of. Let's give you... Actually... I think you'd be a good candidate for drumsticks. Here, have this. It's literally got no plate, no nothing. Just munch it. There we go. The bone and everything. What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> Jarrus, what are you doing? You crazy fool. Oh my goodness. He loved it. A lot. He loves drumsticks. That was phenomenal. Every part of that experience was amazing. It also kind of caught me off guard. Right, what gifts can we give you? Um, What have you got already? My goodness. I think I'm going to give him the mirror as well and see what he can surprise me with when um, he changes. Because apparently that's what happens. But, oh, I'm going to get a reward as well for giving him 
the almighty chicken drumstick. He's given me some some stomach medicine. Great. Thank, thanks, Treyarus. I still can't believe that happened. That was so awesome. It's got to be in his belly now, right? There it is. <laughs> the bone and everything. Oh, wait. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I think it might be a little bit of leftover chicken. So let me just let me just get that for you. You've got some crumbs around your mouth. Yeah. Chicken crumbs. Yeah. It's okay, though. I'll get it for you. Don't worry. I'll just pluck it off your face. Ready? <laughs> I love that. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Spider-Man wants to play a game. What are you going to play, buddy? Can you teach me how to web Let's sling? Play. That would be amazing. Let's see what he's got. Play. Oh, it's the card game. So some of you guys have been picking up on their facial expressions. Because look, he definitely doesn't want me to pick that card. Or does he? It's definitely not a tell because they could be bluffing. Which is where you fake your reaction because you want them to pick it. It's lots of mind games, but I'm going to pick it anyway. Yes, he was telling the truth. Take that. I have played this game way too much for you to win and beat me. So I'm still looking for that necklace that I want to get from winning a game. So let's see if we can grab it. I'm pretty sure it's always in the middle one. So middle. Oh, oh, a glass slipper. What's that on the left? It's like a ball of iron or something crazy. I think we already have. A glass slipper? I'm not too sure. What else you got to say? I don't like when people say things wrong. That's true. That's true. Um, you might need a little bit of food right now. We're doing pretty good on the food front. So I'm gonna get wait, let's see if let's see if he likes drumsticks as well. As much as Treoris, this would be phenomenal if he does. No, he doesn't like it. He does like it, but he doesn't like it as much as Treoris, who absolutely loved chicken. Oh man. Okay, a reward for no reason. Fantastic. What is it? A frying pan. Oh, I know who to give this to. <laughs> what was that? Were you doing yoga or something? Oh my goodness. Right. So yeah, I'm going to give Brock the frying pan because in the Pokemon anime, he has a line where he says, I'm going to use a frying pan as a drying pad. And he uses it to dry his head and shield it from the rain. So we are going to give him a frying pan. And now we have two. No, we have three. Why do we have three? I don't know, but I'm going to give it to him anyway. Use it as a drying pan, mister. Use it. I'm going to make something really nice. Okay, use it to cook instead. That's fine. <laughs> oh, here he is. It's Chef Brock. Oh, I wonder what he's cooking. I hope it's a pancake or something. This is not too spicy, but there's a fire extinguisher handy anyway. Is that just in case you set things on fire? I think so. What's he made? What's he made? Brock, what is it? Super sweet chili prawns. That actually looks really tasty. Do I get that in my little um, my inventory now? That looks nice. That looks really nice. The fact that they use real pictures of food makes it look even more tasty. I enjoyed making that. Good. You're quite the chef, you know. The more friends, the merrier. That's what I think. That is true. Who are you friends with, actually? Misty's your best friend. Homer, Taylor, Skeleton, Charles, Dan, Gemma, Craig. Just not Elsa. So pretty much everyone put Elsa. <laughs> right, I need to quickly see if I've got that, um, that food in my inventory. But first... Let's play a game with Craig. Hopefully it's Sumo's. Let's play together. Let's Craig. Oh, no, he's got a TV on the top right as well. With a little running man on it for motivation. That's amazing. Right, let's play. Come on. The Zoom quiz. No, this is so difficult. Okay, we're going to play the Zoom quiz and see what the first item is. That is not nail clippers. It's not a doner kebab. That is a panettone. Definitely. Hey. We got it. Panettone. Beautiful. It's like bread with fruit or chocolate in, I'm pretty sure. Right. What is the second one, Craig? That is polenta, spinach, or a tap. I don't actually know what polenta is. I know what spinach is, and it's not brown. A tap doesn't look like that either. Or does it? No, that's polenta. That's definitely polenta, whatever that is. I'm pretty sure. Please, please be right. Some polenta. It is polenta. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look that tasty, though. And your final zoom item. Okay, what is it, Craig? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, why do you do this to me? Raw oyster, a screw, or peanuts? It's looking a little bit green. I kind of want to go for oyster here. I'm going to go for oyster, please, Craig. Don't, don't make it something random, please. What did I just say? What did I just say? I thought it was like the inner bit of a oyster. Oh, oh man, Craig, you always do this to me. Always with the zoom items at the end. Now I get toilet paper or tissue paper. <laughs> it's not good. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Craig is hungry. Let's give him a cheeseburger. One of these. Wait, why does it say six pounds when I spent thirty pounds each on a cheeseburger? My goodness. Actually, 
It was 30 pounds for all the cheeseburgers. That's actually a really good deal. <laughs> Look, he's wiped out. He's done too much working out and he's almost hit his head on the weights. Right, we've got two more problems and then we're out of here. I'm very particular about going by the book. Okay, that sounds good. Right, what's your problem? I'd like some new clothes. Would you now? What would you like to wear? Do we have anything you might want to wear already? No, no, we don't. Right, we need to buy something for you, so like let's buy something. Now, she didn't specify what she would want to wear, so I'm going to give her... This isn't too bad, but what else have we got? No, I'm going to buy this because I think Zelda will appreciate it and look pretty good as well. So we're going to give her this crazy skirt thing and see if she likes it. So let's give her the flared skirt. Enjoy, Zelda. Enjoy. It's not your usual attire. I haven't got any armor to give you, but she likes it. She likes it. At least she didn't hate it. <laughs> Once in a while, I think about really deep things. Yeah, me too, actually. Me too. Right, we should have one more problem. Two more problems. Okay, who's got the problems? Oh, look, Voldemort's hanging out. Oh my goodness, they are dancing around. I love his little hair sticking out the top. That is amazing. Good evening. Good evening, Voldemort. How are you doing, buddy? Starving. Oh, of course you are. Right, let's give him um, some schnitzel. Enjoy. Yeah, he really, really liked it. Awesome. He might go up a level, and he does. Right, we need to think about what item we give him. Because Voldemort is a very specific character. I'm going to give him a book. Just because he might want to jot down stuff or research stuff like mystical spells and things. So I'm going to give him the book. There are times when I think I might be a bit insensitive. Oh, really? That's actually kind of funny, Voldemort. <laughs> right, Sans is up next. He is doing neck exercises. Probably because that helmet on his head is so heavy. But it suits him so well. So let's see... What his problem is? Is there something on my face? Uh, not quite on your face. It's kind of. You've got some popcorn there. Yeah, you got popcorn on your shirt, buddy. How did you get that? You've been sneaking stuff in. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Don't worry. <laughs> He's been sneaking stuff into his apartment. I didn't give him popcorn, so I don't know where he got that from. Thanks. No problem, buddy. I want to take a bath. Oh, do you? Well, I just so happen to have three bath sets. Go on, take it. Take the bath. It's been a while since someone had a bath. So go ahead, buddy. Are you gonna... Oh, look at... <laughs> look at his bald head. Oh, that looks so funny. <laughs> Very good, Sans. Very good. You have a beautiful voice. And it turns out we must have, like, a communal bathroom for the apartments. Which is kind of weird, actually. That was so relaxing. Oh, look at him! He's in his bath outfit! Oh my goodness, that didn't happen before, did it? <laughs> He's looking beautiful, and I get a reward as well. A travel ticket. That's actually really handy for making sad me's more happy. So look at him. Oh man, he looks so funny. People tell me I'm not a complicated person. Well, you're not. You do speak very fast, though, which is kind of cool. Look at him! Look at him! And there we go. Peace has been restored to our awesome apartment block. So, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's episode, guys. We get quite a lot done today. Oh, there's people in the coffee shop. Let's quickly go there and see what's going on just before we leave. Voldemort is reading his book. See, I told you he's up to some evil scheming. So, we got quite a lot done today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed this series as much as I do playing it. Let's quickly save and see who's on the save screen. It's the Ghast, just swinging his head around like he normally does. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a big fat like on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!